Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure all of you guys are aware, we are right around the corner from Rockstar Games releasing the brand new Halloween 2024 update, which is looking likely to be the last Halloween update we are ever going to see in GTA 5. Now, if you guys have been watching my previous videos over the last week, you will know that Rockstar Games do plan to release a bunch of different events throughout the entire month of October to celebrate Halloween. These include a brand new North Yankton Zombies Survival Mode. We'll also have possessed animals running around free roam again. We're also going to be getting a new Ghosts Exposed Challenge plus much much more. Now as I'm sure you guys are all aware by now, every single Halloween Rockstar Games also add in the brand new UFO event where you guys have got to go ahead take pictures of different UFOs in order to unlock some exclusive rewards. Now we do have some brand new leaks on exactly how this UFO event is going to work this year including a brand new Halloween weapon, how you guys can get access to the Fort Sancudo bunker plus much much more. But not only that we're also going to be taking a quick look at a bunch of changes that Rockstar Games have only just rolled out into GTA 5 online as well as some more exclusive items we can see Rockstar Games releasing for the final Halloween update. So as always if you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 news all I ask is you do return the favour by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. With that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so first things first, and it is worth mentioning, of course, today is Wednesday, so Rockstar Games will be rolling out a brand new weekly update tomorrow, so you guys do only have one more day left to make the most of this current weekly update, which does come with some exclusive rewards. You will not have the chance to do so in the future. So the first one, of course, being some exclusive outfits. All you guys have to do is simply log in at any point over today and you guys will unlock the Alpine outfit, which of course is based off the Oktoberfest outfit, which is a famous beer festival in Germany. And of course, being a beer festival, it only made sense Rockstar Games also released some sort of beer or alcohol merchandise along with it. So you can also get the Pip Waza Good Time t-shirt completely free by just simply logging in. There is also two exclusive Pib was a liveries that you guys can unlock by simply logging in. You can unlock this rare red and white limited time livery for the Ubermax Cypher, which of course is a drift vehicle, along with two exclusive Pib was a liveries for the Ubermax Sentinel Classic Widebody, which of course is also a drift vehicle. And if you guys do want to earn yourself some quick money today by completing a quick challenge, go ahead and secure six bounty targets and Rockstar Games will give you guys a bonus 100k and as far as the money making methods that you guys have got to make the most of you can get double money and double rp on all of the bounty targets so that includes the standard and the most wanted so if you are going for any of the challenges to do with the bail enforcement office today is the day to be grinding them out as like i said you will be earning double money for doing so now as far as the discounts that will be ending as you guys can see on screen you can get 40 to 30 percent off of all of the vehicles on screen personally nothing stands out too much in this list however more importantly if you do want to get yourself a free vehicle today which will be changing tomorrow of course the lucky wheel podium vehicle is the Trafard Nero which if you guys were to buy off the in-game websites would be setting you guys back 1.4 million dollars so once you applied all of the upgrades it could easily set you guys back 1.8 1.9 million dollars so definitely worth going ahead and getting for free today whilst you guys can and if you guys have no idea on how to land on the podium vehicle every single time i'll leave a link to a video down low in the comment section and i will remember this time to do so where i show you guys an easy method on how to land on these vehicles every single week 
to save millions of dollars so that is everything that will be ending tomorrow and like i said i will give you guys an update on the brand new weekly update once it is out tomorrow however as i explained at the start of the video rockstar games will be releasing a new ufo event into the game this year and thanks to some of the most credible data miners we do know exactly how this event is going to work so this first leak is coming from a data miner known as r41781 and he said you now have a 50 percent chance to spawn inside the vault sankudo bunker it was 25 percent last year if you pull the levers in the correct order and escape the bunker you'll earn 25k otherwise the bunker fills with gas and you pass out now we did go on to show some gameplay here of the new ufo 2024 event which as you guys can see on screen he is getting abducted near the big ufo building that is opposite one of the nightclubs downtown however just like last year we would get abducted into this secret vault sankudo bunker however our character would be strapped down and glued to the bench this year as you guys can see on screen you will be able to get up and walk around the entire Vort Sankudo bunker. Now, if you guys are interested in all of the Easter eggs and exactly what is inside all of these rooms, I already kind of glitched into this building over a year ago and done a full breakdown on it. So if I do remember, I'll leave a link to that video down low in the comment section. Now, he does actually share gameplay of what happens if you are unable to pull all of the levers in time. And as you guys can see on screen, you will get a little shot here of gas getting admitted in the bunker where your character will collapse to the ground and spawn in a random location. Now, he does also go on to show a different scenario of what happens once you guys pull all the levers in the right order so he pulls the furthest one first being number four then he pulls the second one the first one and ends off with the third lever which will open the lift where once you guys enter into you will exit the bunker and you will also receive 25k now he did go on to share some additional information regarding the ufo event where he does state ceos and mc presidents cannot spawn inside the bunker the crowbar has two possible locations room one and room three it is selected randomly and the crowbar will be used to unlock the new weapon which i will talk about in a second however the next point he says is loot in the crate in room three unlocks the shocker weapon he also states if you guys loot the crate again after unlocking the weapon you'll earn additional cash and rp it is also worth mentioning the order of the levers is selected randomly which also seems to affect the number of props and finally he states you will have a full-blown 10 minutes to escape the bunker all your pass out due to the gas now as he mentioned in the information you will be unlocking a new weapon by completing this vault sankudo bunker challenge and here is gameplay on how that is going to work so once you guys retrieve the crowbar you will have to break open this crate simply collect the weapon and then escape from the bunker now if you guys are regular viewers on my channel you would have known that i did have a method showing you guys how to unlock this weapon early as soon as rockstar games released the bounty hunters dlc now rockstar games have currently patched that method i did show you guys so if you guys haven't seen that video the new weapon is basically a stun rod so exactly the same effect you'd get from shooting someone with this stun gun but instead a melee weapon version now like i mentioned in that video it doesn't really make sense for rockstar games to release this around halloween considering this is the perfect weapon to go ahead and apprehend bounty targets because you don't have to use your stun gun you can run up to them stun them and instead of killing them you can go ahead and arrest them however for all of you guys that weren't able to go ahead and unlock this weapon a few months ago don't worry because like i said rockstar games will be officially releasing it with the halloween 2024 update and i do have much more information on stuff we can expect to see throughout the month of october so make sure you guys do hit the little bell to turn notifications on so you do keep up to date 
every time I post a new video. However, that is going to do it for me, guys. As always, if you do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 news, all I ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below. And if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.